Once you have downloaded the Keyword Grouper Pro zip file, you can just double click on it. If you're inside Windows, you'll see something that looks like this. You'll see Keyword Grouper Pro .html, and then you'll see some other folders. And just above that, you should see Extract All Files. Now, if you're not on Windows or on another operating system and you need help with unzipping this, I'll put some links in the description for some uh, tutorials on how to unzip this. But basically, you unzip it like you unzip any file. And once you unzip it, that's all you need to do. There is no installation. Uh, you're just going to simply double click after you've unzipped it, double click on this HTML file and it'll open it in case you want to use Firefox, Chrome, Safari. Um, I'll put a link in the description for how to do that. But once that's done and you open it up, you'll get the Keyword Grouper Pro page here. Now let me explain simply how this works and then I'll give you a quick demonstration. It's very easy to use, but it's extremely powerful. So in this area, you're going to be pasting in any keywords. Now these can be long tail keywords, they can be full questions. I'm going to demonstrate this in just a minute, but you paste all your keywords in here. The minimum group length is the minimum number of keywords that you should consider a group. So this might be five keywords. If you put five in here, you're saying as long as there are five keywords that match some criteria, which is uh, the, the language of the keyword itself, then put those into one group. And if there's only four, don't put it into group or three or two or one. Uh, then excluded words list, you click on this and you can type in any words you don't want to be um, using in a group. And this is extremely powerful, but um, I'll, I'll demonstrate this in a minute. But all you can, there's some pre, um, we've put a bunch of words in here. You can scroll through here. There's a lot of words. These are considered like stop words, if you will. But if you know you want to add a specific word into this list, and I'll explain why you'd want to do this in just a moment, you can type that in here and then click set excluded words list. And the last thing is to simply click on process keywords and let Keyword Grouper Pro look through all the relationships between all the keywords and group them based on the words that are found within those keywords. So let's just do a really quick example to show you. I've pulled up Question Spy here, and I've done a top searches on the word iPod. And now I have all the top questions people ask that contain the keyword iPod from Question Spy. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over to Keyword Grouper Pro. I'm going to paste this into Keyword Grouper Pro. You'll see now all the all these uh, long tail question keywords are inside Keyword Grouper Pro. I'll just go ahead and leave this minimum group size at five. But in this case, I know all my keywords are going to have the word iPod or iPods in them just because of the way uh, that the Google suggestion tool works. So I'm going to click on this excluded words list and I want to go ahead and exclude the word iPod and iPods. Now it doesn't remove those words from the keywords, don't think that's what it's doing. It's simply saying it won't consider this word as what would make a group because they all contain that word. This is gonna make sure we group by really tight terms. And then now I'm just gonna simply click process keywords and we'll give it a second. It's gonna prepare the keywords. Now there's literally tens of thousands of operations that just went on in just that short amount of time. So if you have a really large list, it is gonna take some time. I think yesterday we processed um, it was close to 41,000 keywords. It did take a long time. I'll say that right now. But literally, there's t uh, over a million processes going on in the background. So just give it time. It's looking at all the relationships between all the keywords. So you can see now, what we have now is we have two tabs. This says there's five or more. This is our groups. And these are the keywords that had less than five. So if we click on this one first, you're going to just see these keywords, there's not any grouping relationship between them. doesn't mean they're bad keywords. It just means that for groups of five, they they don't, there's not five things in common with any of these keywords, but over here there is. So you'll see it says 1,049 keywords analyzed, 72 different groups with five or more were created. And if you click here, you can export to a CSV file. This is super helpful because once you close the browser down, the data is gone. It doesn't store it to your computer until you actually save it. So you can click here, it'll save it to a CSV file. And the way it generates the file, it's really easy to still see the groups within the CSV file. So that's really nice. But you'll see now we have the, the commonality here. So this is the keyword these are grouped by. So this is the word touch. And there's 66 keywords in this list. So we see how iPod Touch works. What iPod Touch should I buy? Where is iPod Touch on sale? Um, these are just keywords that relate to Bluetooth. So these were all the questions people asked about Bluetooth. Here's word uh, keyword phrases or questions in this case, because we got them from Question Spy that have to deal with iPod Classic, iPod Nano. Let's scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see how granular we can get with this. So these are specific keywords that contain the word bad. Are iPods bad for the environment, bad for you, bad for hearing? 
Um, let's scroll down even further. Working. When iPod stops working, why do iPod 5 stop working? Why do iPod chargers stop working? Okay. So you'll see how nice and tight you can get these uh, specific words down into these very small groups. Now we chose five, but had we chosen three or two, one obviously is not going to do anything because that's not a group. That's just a single keyword. But if you choose smaller amounts, it will take a little bit more time that you'll get even tighter groupings. And it just depends on how much you want to focus on that. Now, if I want to copy these keywords to my clipboard, if I just want to copy the keywords that relate to the word best, I just click the copy button. And now that's been copied to my clipboard. I can go to the Google AdWords keyword tool and paste in just these terms and get actual search volume on a very tight keyword group. And that's one technique. We're going to be putting out some more videos to show some advanced techniques. Let's say this group here, we have iPod Touch was pretty much what re was returned here and it had 66. I can copy this list here. I can open another instance of Keyword Grouper Pro in another tab. So it's just a HTML file. So you just double click it and it'll open another instance of it inside your browser. Then I can paste in just this group for that has touch for 66 here I could paste in these keywords but I could set in the excluded list the word iPod and the word touch now it will create new groups around these 66 keywords but it won't count the word touch or the word iPod as part of the grouping and therefore I'll break this down even further so there is a lot of different things you can do with this tool but the thing that's the best thing about this tool is that you can group long tail keywords you can group regular generic keywords you can group the questions that you get from question spy you can group any keyword from any tool you can put into this tool and it will find all the relationships between the keywords and it'll put them into these nice tight groups and this is great for pay-per-click it's awesome for SEO because you know exactly which keywords you want to target on page and you can look at also the LSI terms that show up in these groups and make sure you sprinkle that into your content to rank for even more terms so you could pretty much use it for anything that you need to see if you have a big list of keywords and you need to break those down very quickly within reason what you have I mean if you have 30,000 keywords quickly is relative because you're actually looking at all the relationships between every word and every phrase against all the other words in the entire list it's not even possible to do this manually I mean it would just take forever so this is the beauty of keyword group pro it's going to break those keyword lists down for you and put them into nice tight groups so you know what you're working with you can map out your site and you can get all your content in and get all your your SEO and your PPC your ad groups get it all set up so that you have these nice groups you know exactly which groups are profitable for you and which groups are not